All right, as we all know, there are pros and cons to every situation. And when it comes down to the Santa Clarita Valley, there's definitely some pros, but there are definitely some cons too. So let's go over that right now. What's going on everybody? My name is Danny. I'm a realtor with Romeo Echo Real Estate out here in the Santa Clarita Valley. I talk all things about Santa Clarita, the San Fernando Valley, more of the Northern LA County type area. And I talk about all things real estate. So if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to like, subscribe, press the notification bell so you know when my next video comes out. So if you have any interest in the San Clarita Valley or San Fernando Valley, please feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact information is going to be in the description section down below. And if you feel like I missed anything during this whole conversation, make sure to put it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think a pro is about the Santa Clarita Valley and what you also think a con is about the Santa Clarita Valley. Everyone's different, you know, so we all have entitlement to our uh, opinions. So I'll make sure to put it down. On to our first pro. And our first pro is gonna be lifestyle. You're definitely gonna have a great active lifestyle out here. As I said on my previous video, um, I like to be outdoors. So it's something that I'm personally attracted to. So I like to go out hiking, running, you know, biking from from time to time. So it's really built for a, uh, a more of an active person and an active lifestyle, more of a family type of feel. And I, I think that the, the way that the, the whole situation is laid out is is done very efficiently you get that family and family feel you get that uh, hometown type feeling but you still got a lot to do you still got a lot of things out there and you're still really close to the LA County or LA proper con number one kind of coincides with pro number one it you know it's a great lifestyle out here but it tends to get a little bit more expensive. Um, again, I'm gonna be going over the, the the cost of living out here in a different video, but I mean, it, it, it does tend to get a little bit more expensive out here. It's just, it, it just comes with the territory. You know, you get that luxury type of lifestyle, you get that family type of lifestyle, you're gonna have to pay for it. But by all means, like it's it's all worth it, trust me. And you, once, you, once you come out here and take a look at the areas, you're gonna to want to spend a little bit of extra money for that security, that added security, and the added comfort that you get. Keep in mind that California is all together, it's, it's really expensive, especially in uh, Southern California. If you're coming from out of the area, just make sure to take into account that you know you, you wanna add maybe 10, 15% to your normal expenses, just in case. Now, it's not all, like, that's not all encompassing. I would just say that, like, make sure that you're prepared for the situation. Sometimes, you know, things come up and you, you wanna make sure that you're as prepared as possible. So just take that into account. So pro number two is gonna be location. And as I said in my previous video, you know, it has, it, you know, Santa Clarita is in its own little pocket and it's kind of away from LA proper and LA, like you know like the San Fernando Valley you're close enough to the San Fernando Valley that you can actually take surface streets down there you're close enough to to you know the major freeways the five freeway four or five freeway that you know you'll be able to commute to these areas these downtown LA you know different areas different areas of LA County very very easily then that leads over to con number two which is traffic you'll see how Santa Clarita itself is kind of bottlenecked and the way leading down to LA County and San, the San Fernando Valley is kind of just one one entryway and one exit. So, I mean, if you time it right, if, you, if you're able to kind of maneuver your timelines just a little bit differently, you'll be perfectly fine. But if you're typically commuting in those common hours, just expect that you, you're gonna hit a little bit more traffic. It's just to be expected. You, you're gonna live that, that great lifestyle, but you're gonna be on the road just a little bit longer. Also, take a look at the map right here of Santa Clarita. You'll see that you have the five freeway and the 14 freeway going down that way. Keep in mind that like there's no freeway going across Santa Clarita. So, I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of surface streets to, to get you into different areas like Saugus and just the Northern Santa Clarita area. But it, you know, it takes a little bit of time. Just keep that, keep that in mind because there's no, there's no freeway going across Santa Clarita to get you from the five up top to the 14 on the other side. With Santa Clarita being so displaced away from, kind of like in its own pocket and away from the San Fernando Valley and LA proper, so it has its own kind of environment. And with that comes low crime. I mean, it's it's really refreshing when I came out here that, you know, I wasn't I wasn't having to lock my door every every single time I came out and I felt like my my wife and my child were maybe possibly in danger because some creepy person was walking by. I don't have that feeling here, which is which is really really refreshing. And you know, like I, I don't see any graffiti. I don't see very much, you know, a, 
a lot of people just throwing things around in the area. It's a clean area. And again, it's really, really refreshing that, um, you know, coming from areas that weren't as as nice and then coming here and then just, just feeling like, wow, I mean, this is what it's supposed to be like. Con number three, and this is kind of a big one, it's the fires. There's, you know, California has a lot of fires going throughout and you'll see that once you roll through here that there's a lot of open uh, open areas and that's kind of an invitation for brush fires. You obviously will have that fire insurance that you'll have on your policies and you wanna make sure that you're as prepared as possible, uh, a little bit more prepared as you would be in, in different areas out here in LA County. Just because, I mean, you're you're in the hills and it, it is Santa Clarita Valley, but there's a lot of hills involved. I mean, there's you have surrounding mountains that uh, you want to pay attention to that won't have any development on them, and eventually it will. But at this point, right now, there's there's a lot of open areas for hiking, and you know, like a lot of trails, things like that that we want to kind of preserve. And with that, you know, there's a lot of brush. All right, so pro number four is gonna be schools. We have a great school system out here with over 60 high rated schools in the valley. There's not much more to be said. I'm gonna leave a link down below with the school system uh, or the ranked schools, the best schools down below in the description. Like I said, there's like a, a really big family vibe here, a family environment out here in Santa Clarita. So that's why con number four is gonna be the lack of nightlife. Is that something that you're really looking for? I mean, there's there are some bars in the area, but not as much nightlife as um, a lot would a lot of people would want. You're better off just making the commute, going down to LA, going down to the valley, and you know, enjoying yourself out there. Con number five is gonna be the food variety. I mean, you're gonna have uh, a lot of the uh, big franchises, In-N-Out, Chick-fil-A, which is overrated, Five Guys, uh, McDonald's, all, all those all those big franchises, are, they're gonna be out here, but you're not gonna find those smaller mom and pa shops, not, not, not a lot of food trucks out here. There are some here and there, but you know, they're not the greatest and they're, they're scarce. So yeah, that's one thing I miss from the Valley is the food variety. I wanted to make sure to end up on a positive note, something that I'm really seeing a lot of and that's economy growth. There's a lot of jobs coming out here to Santa Clarita. There's a lot of commercial properties coming out here, a lot of industries coming out here just because there's a lot more space. And I think that's really something that's that's uh, you know, really attractive to a lot of people. There's a lot more opportunity. But all right guys, that is it for me. If you're a Santa Clarita native, did I miss a pro? Did I miss a con? Are you out of the area? Do you know Santa Clarita just a little bit? And you feel like I missed something, make sure to put it in the comment section down below. Let's have a discussion. Let's talk about it. But all right, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to like, subscribe, press the notification bell so you know when the next video is going to come out. I'll see you guys next time.